In this video, I'd like to share some thoughts about model detail and how the detail in the model affects spatial coordination. The model view you see in front of you is representative of how most general contractors do spatial coordination. The MEP trade models have been brought into the architectural model. This looks pretty clean, aside from a couple of clashes here between the fire sprinkler piping and the roof drain piping. But the level of detail that we see here doesn't really represent how this building will be built. Let's start to bring in some actual construction detail. Now with the T-bar ceiling in place, we can see that we've got a problem here with the supply air grill and a problem here with the return air boot. Let's continue to bring in the detail. Now with the seismic uplift post and the bracing on that post, we can see that even after the supplier grill is moved, we likely have a problem here. We've definitely got a problem here between this brace and the supplier duct. Let's continue to bring in the detail. The framing you see here represents how this soffit would actually be built. We can see now that we have clashes between the bracing that occurs four foot on center on that soffit and the roof drain piping. So as you can see, as we took the level of detail in our model up, the level of spatial coordination that we had in this space actually went down. This was one of over a hundred rooms in this building, so you can imagine how many problems we would have had had we done our spatial coordination with the level of detail that we started with in this video. Hopefully this quick video has given you an idea of how block construction company is different than most of the general contractors out there and how we leverage our technology tools to deliver best in class value to our clients.